Hi, Kinders. We're going to be working on our backpack. No, backpack. We're working on our drops in the buckets, number 21. So you're going to need your page 21 and drops in the buckets and a pencil. Mrs. Cito's going to use a marker so it's easier for you to see. And we're going to start with our name. Remember, it's March. So we're going to write our first and our last name. Now, it wants us to circle six. Circle six alligators. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then it wants us to check five of them. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's see if we can figure out the patterns. The patterns are getting harder, huh? Circle, circle, square blank, square, circle, circle, square, 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 circle, circle. This is like the last one. We have to try to figure out what is missing between the two squares. Now, the beginning of this pattern really doesn't help me, but if I start looking here, I can see that it's circle, circle, and how many squares? Three, one, two, three, and then circle, circle again. So this is how the pattern continues. So because I can see it here, I know that after circle, circle comes how many? Three squares. So circle, circle, and then how many squares? Three squares. That's right. Okay, let's look at our numbers. Three, four, one number is missing. Five. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's count the screws. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna draw a line to seven. The footprints. This reminds me of a beach. When you go to the beach, do you ever see your footprint? It looks like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. And let's look at the ships. One, two, three, four, five. Five. For our addition, it has zero and then three more. Or I can count the dots. One, two, three, three. Zero plus three equals three. 6 minus 1 equals, so if I have 6 and I take away 1, or I can count the dinosaurs that are not crossed out because they have 6 dinosaurs and then 1 dinosaur left. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 6 take away 1 equals 5. Oh, it's a Christmas tree. All right, let's see. So we're decorating the Christmas tree. So the beginning of the Christmas tree just has a star. And then you start putting a few ornaments on it. Which one has very few? Probably this one. Which one do you think next? Yeah, this one, because they added a candy cane. And then this one. And then the one that's all done is the one in the middle. All right, so now we need to go get our glue stick and our scissors. And I'm going to pull the page off so that when I cut it off, I'll cut the bottom, I don't accidentally cut the other page. I'm saving 22 for next week. And so let's start cutting them out, boys and girls. So I'm going to cut out the Christmas tree. Then I'm going to cut off the little pieces. I'll put my scissors away so I won't lose them like I did last time. Then I'm going to get my glue stick and I'm going to do three. Let's do three rows because last time it didn't fall off when I did three rows and I don't want them to fall off. Put the cap on tight so our glue stick doesn't dry. If it dries, it won't work anymore. I'm going to start with number one and then two and then three and then four and then five and when we glue them all down we can check to make sure that it goes in order and guess what it does great job kinders give yourself a happy face on the top i will see you next week when we do drops in the bucket number 22 bye kinders